Greetings all, Shane Bruce with Rest of Mod Daisy. And today we've got a bit of instruction for you. Yes, some research has been done, sparked by an inquiry from one of our subscribers about the difficulties he was experiencing in getting the right size compression cup for his attempt to rebuild a Model 1894 Daisy. Well, I've done a lot of those guns. Of course, I have to tell you this, most of the ones I've done have been this model, 1894 Daisy Red Rider. Uh, this is an early gun. The gun was gone into, went into production in 1955 and was produced as a Red Rider until about 1962. The thing that I've always liked about this particular model is down here on the front sight. It's got a hook front sight. It's unique in Daisy Land. The only gun that's ever had this is the Model 94. And if we back down to this end of the gun, we'll see that it's got the adjustable flip peep. So those are the two distinguishing characteristics of the Daisy 94 Red Rider, if we can get that in there, there we go, mm -hmm. Model 94, produced in Plymouth, Michigan. Okay? Now, my uh, subscriber's problem was he had a 94, and when I heard 94, I thought, and saw in my head, this 94. Turns out, he's got this 94, which, because of the copious numbers of daisies that are available here at the Resto Mod Development Facility, we also have a version, a copy of. As you'll see, it's a Daisy Model 94, but it was built in Rogers, Arkansas, which means it was built post-58, after uh, the facility moved from Plymouth, Michigan. It also has a register number, uh, something that the earlier Model 94s lack. And if you'll notice other differences in the gun, there is no flip peep rear sight, and the front sight is quite standard. There are several other significant differences in the gun besides the diameter of their compression cup cylinders. You'll notice up here on this piece that the Model 94 from Rogers was downsized. It's considerably smaller than the uh, earlier iteration of the gun, and that's very evident when you look at the barrel end of things. So slide on down to the end of the barrel, and you can see that the Rogers gun is significantly shorter, uses a shorter shot tube. So it is a different gun, even though it has the same model numbers. So here was the catch. He had taken his 94 apart, and he had uh, referenced some of our videos on working on 94s, and he had decided to order a new set of uh, seals, which he did. What he did was order the .808182 seals, which are for the Daisy Model 25, the current iteration. But what he needed was the .89 seal, which is for the current iteration of the Red Rider. So this tells us that after the chain, after the move from Plymouth, Michigan to Rogers, Arkansas, Daisy changed the compression cup and changed the compression cylinder diameter. Might have been a consolidation effort to get to just one standard size, even though to this day they still offer two different cups. Hence his confusion and my confusion until I was determined to uh, find out what the story was and tore this later model from Rogers, Arkansas apart and measured the cup and told him, no, if your uh, mic is telling you 0 .89, 0 .89 is what you should get because that's what it needs. Another good example here in Daisy Land of how you can learn something new just about every day when you thought you really knew quite a bit. So just to recap, if you've got a Plymouth, Michigan Model 94 and you want to put seals in it, you need to go with the .82 seal that's sold for the Model 25. And if you have a Rogers, Arkansas Model 94 and you want a new seal for it, you need to get the current Red Rider seal. There's only two choices you can get. There's only two you can buy from Daisy. So the big seal for the Rogers gun and the little seal for the Plymouth gun. Well, that's enough Daisy minutia for today's episode. This is Shane Bruce with Resto Mod Daisy, signing off.